Uh, I, I probably fall on the other side of that for Byung. I just feel like watching his play, he does feel like the most under, underrated, you know, not even just Terran, but player in the world right now. And I feel like he has a ton of potential. Uh, he's done very, very well against Protoss so far. And I feel like he's probably going to take this one, for me, at least. He's definitely one of the integral pieces of CJ's rise to success this round. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, Classic is 6-2. and two. He's only played one map against Terran. He lost it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it, it, it was the game where he made, like, too many Phoenixes. Maybe even against Maru or, or TY, but he just had way too many Phoenixes and, uh, you know, tried to play Phoenix Colossi, but the ground army eventually just crushed through and beat him. Tough loss to take there, but I've seen some really good matches out of this guy in other leagues. I feel like he, he's the one for me. I, I look at this and I, I give him an edge, but only slightly. Yeah. Young is so good, man. It's he's just incredibly this good. match is just incredibly close to call, and uh, you know, going either way on this one is a risk, basically. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, let's jump into it. The map is Polar Knight, a two player map here. Can CJ tie it up, or is SKT going to take a 2 0 lead? Up here in the north, in the yellow for CJ Entis on the map, Polar Knight. The Terran player, super underrated. He's Byung. And his opponent, one of the coolest IDs of all time, one of the best crosses in the world. It's classic. And uh, so this is, uh, I would say, one of the harder matches to predict today. The map is a two-player map. Third base is pretty exposed no matter which way you look at it. If you take the third base that's north or south of your main, then it's exposed to run bys and attacks by ground. If you take the third base that's, uh, you know, over to the left side, I think it's better for the Protoss to take that base uh, on this map because if you do, then uh, what you're able to, to do is, you know, you just you have a little bit more room to work with on your ground units that can't, you know, fly from base to base. Whereas a Terran player will likely take the base, in Byung's case, south of his uh, natural because it gives him the ability to attack and defend easier. And if the emergency arises, he can actually lift it to his main base quite easily. So I, I would expect to see that. Yeah. Very, very nice uh, analysis of this map for both players. So far, Byung just dropping down the barracks and then the gas. So very, very standard over there. Probably going to a Reaper. Or we could see some crazy uh, TY play, <laughs> like we did see in the first match with the I Proxy hope. Factory. But I do not want to see that. I hope not, yeah. I hope we don't see that. If I, if I vote on Byung in such a close match and he goes for a build like that, I would be I would be hurt. It would hurt my heart. But I don't think he's going to go for something like that. He doesn't want to hurt your heart. No. <laughs> GG girls are here. Yeah, they are here. Tossing out that wave when the heart's there. She's like, look at it. It's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Both players are like, very serious about identifying possible proxy play. Uh, I mean, look at this probe even like goes around a second time. He's like, just in case. <laughs> he may have done it as I passed by. Wasn't there a second ago, but got to check twice. He actually he actually did do <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, he I does mean, a circle around the little hole. The thing he, is, if you see goes it, up. it doesn't matter how fast you see it, generally. Like as long as you see it. Seeing it is more important than seeing it quickly because it's not like you're going to see it and you're like, oh my god, it's too late. You know, you're, you're going to see the factory on time. So I, I respect this. Yeah. Doing a nice job is uh, Byung blocking with that SCV for as long as possible on that Nexus. Both players, though, going to drop that, uh, you know, that town, town center. Hall, yeah. Town hall. Pretty fast. Oh, you dropping out like these big Warcraft three turns. Is that a Warcraft three thing? I think that's so. from uh, Age of Empires. Oh, is that is that where it's from then? Town, it's town an old center. RTS thing. Like I never really, I know people in Warcraft three said it, but maybe they said it from Age of Empires. I know it's not from Command and Conquer, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is probably an Age of Empires thing now. It's just because uh, I never actually laid hands on Warcraft three, which is a big shame. He's look doing at this. It. Look at this, guys. He's actually going to go for the um, proxy factory here. And, uh, you know, he's doing it differently than TY, where he has a fast CC to back it up. I think he's actually just going to lift the fact into the main base. Maybe we've seen this before. 
where he just tries to make Widow Mines. This has got to be uh, a Stargate over here. We don't really see this on this map anymore because it's like, it's the awkward, obvious Stork proxy is what Calder and I like to call it because it's just like one of those proxies you expect no matter what. Whoa. Robo proxy. What? Okay. Uh, okay, so let's run through some possibilities. Possibility number one is Immortal Bust. Well, possibility number two is Warp Prism 4 Gate. Sentry drop, not happening with sentries on the wrong side of the map. Uh, he's going to come here. He's like, okay, what? He might actually just send an SCV to check for proxies now that he's seen there's nothing here and it's very late for everything to be hidden. Then again, now let's consider that Byung's structure is on the completely wrong side of the map, so he's he's not going to have those units at home to defend against the potential warp prism. Okay, so it's going to be Immortals. Yep, Immortals coming down here. No gateways just yet. Uh-oh. Look at this. That Widow Mine actually will kill the Stalker. There it is. But he does get the scout on. Sentry's, Sentry's like, like, no, 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 not me. He's like, I hope a Hellion doesn't <laughs> pop out and kill me. <laughs> That would be terrible. Okay, so now he sees this is coming. So this is a great position for Classic to defend. Unfortunately, his observers are going to be a long way away from home. I wonder if he's just going to make it a... He's actually just going to stick with this. He's just going to try to target down the, the Widow Mine before they burrow. Yeah, and look at this. Uh, like you were saying, Byung's like, well, this doesn't make any sense. What, what What's going on? I got to scout this. He's going to send that in. Here is the drop of the Widow Mines. The Photon Overcharge goes down right away. Does go down, but one does burrow. Nice micro out of Classic. Does get only one kill on that probe. He didn't see it. He checked, but he didn't check far enough. He, the oh, rally he was rally? on the wrong side. Oh, my God. Well, he's he, going to see it yeah, now. Yeah, he's going to see that. Bunkers. He's going to drop double bunker here. That Widow Mine Triple at home bunker. is not going to be enough to to disrupt the economy to, to change this game. He does not have a lot of units, and those bunkers are not ready, Brendan. 29 probes here. He's very probe light. That gives him a lot of extra resource to work with here. Now, Concave at the top of the ramp with 14 Marines. Let's see what he can get done here. That's a lot of money spent on those bunkers. I don't know if there's enough Protoss army here, though. Force fields trap those Marines away, but there's SCVs to buffer. A lot of SCVs to buffer the Zealots in the back to start with, but, you know, starting to focus down a lot, but the bunkers are done now, and he's got enough SCVs here to repair. He lost a lot of Harvesters, and Stim has only just now started with a fourth Immortal, and I feel a heavy commitment to Stalkers rather than uh, Zealots. I think he could maybe break through. Looks like he's going to reroute and go around to the natural. This is going to force uh, bunkers to be salvaged and repositioned. I think he already has two at the front. Yeah, he has two at the front, but they're not ready yet. And if he doesn't identify that this is being uh, rerouted, definitely going to be frustrating to deal with. Most of the pros have been moved to the natural. So yep. Observer's highlighting there. Oh. And uh, Byung has identified this. He's moved his units here. He's got the SCVs to repair. One more probe, actually a gas probe, which is pretty critical considering his gas income is extremely weak right now. I really, I'd rather him make an assimilator at home, put three probes into it, than commit heavier to zealots than he is right now. I, I don't know, man. Four morals could still bust through. That's only two bunkers right here. He's got uh, the guardian shield. He's got very nice forest fields as well. There's the first bunker down. He could focus down the next one with the immortals. He does. Marines come out. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of Terran here, actually. Very nice force fields to follow up. He just killed so many of the Marines. Now he needs to pull back here, I would say. Well, he's actually going to target this bunker down and gets another one. His next round of warpens is mostly Zealots. And that means he doesn't have a lot more bonus damage to Stalkers, but it helps him out so much when it comes to SCVs, which are so critical here in the defense right now for Byung. One more mortal does fall. Can the Zealots actually push through this? Even a mule actually in the way. The bunker looks like it will fall. There's no Marines in there. Does he have enough? Where's that extra immortal? It's still over here. He needs to realize. I'm sure he does now with the warp and the Zealots. Right? Could, right? <laughs> truly, I mean... It's still there. That is so huge. That could actually mean the game for him right now. He needs that in this. He's so light on gas here. It's hard for him to warp in Stalkers. Now, the Immortals are starting to, to kite on this Marine. I think he will get it. Nope. Nice positioning there. He loses a lot of shields to those Marauders in the bunker. Really important to keep the Marauders in the bunker because if not, the Immortals are just going to target them down with that extra damage to armor. Yep. 
doing doing you know some health damage even to that immortal and this immortal is still it's not still there over here stim is done right now for gungi stims here is the push for classic is it enough a lot of these units on the ramp doing a lot of damage but a nice time warp most of the immortals have gone down though i'm not sure if it's going to be enough that extra immortal comes down now as well he needs to keep force feeling and, and you know there's there's no way to oh my god that got 12 kills <laughs> actually i think that's game well i'm like that information was hidden from me uh yeah, that's it. That's that's actually game. There's no way. There's no way to recover from this. He's not sending an immortal. He's not sending that observer home to kill that and then just transition. He still hasn't noticed this immortal. It's still there, and he's going back now. I mean, if he looks at the mini map, he's like, "Oh, that's my that's my pylon," you know. But it almost makes me wonder if that immortal is bugged and stuck. No. Okay. Well, that question is answered. He opens his mouth in disbelief. He's like, "Oh, what?" Just imagine if he had that immortal in the push before Stim was done. Like, could have could have meant the the end of the game for Byung there. Well, this game is over. All right, medivacs are out. There's no tech. By the way, like any tech he had, that if he had the robotics at home, he would have no tech. He has now not even that. He's like making a Twilight Council. Well, his opponent is up 30 army supply, 30 better army supply. I don't know if this is more one-sided than like. Five Colossi against like ten Hydralis or like what man? This is like he's just gonna stim, close his eyes and start his celebration. He That's could literally this game just is. a move into the Bredos army right now. Uh, that Widow Mine was never dealt with. He, that's why he didn't have any more units. I was sending in really. He's, he's just, starting Blink now, and uh, he's got one Stalker. He, this is this is for pride here. Byung is going to crush this army. Get ready. Brace yourselves, Close ladies and gentlemen. Your children's here we eyes. go. Widow Mines to lead the charge. Doing bonus damage to shield. So many medevacs here. Stim. Not even necessary to split. The force fields are decent. Picks up some of his units there. Can target down the Nexus. It's going to do so. Classic is just. He's so dead, man. This is way too much bio. Dropping the mule. Wow. Hide your children's eyes from this destruction. Young's like looking down at his keyboard. GG. Wow. What a crazy game, though. Hidden robotics into, you know, failed immortal bus went on for a very long time. On the other side of things, the Widow Mines being dropped into the main of Classic. Classic not dealing with it. Young takes another win. Unfortunately, I feel like that wasn't the straight up game we both hoped for. No, that would have, uh, you know, Maybe, you know, possibly Classic would have been able to take that. I just feel like uh, certain factors in that game led to Classic's undoing. This is actually a game where I look at it, and, and, and tell me how you feel about this, because I, I look at this game and I think Classic does not all in often in practice. Does not all in often in his televised games, that's for sure. But he's just bad at all ins. That was a poorly executed all in. He forgot. When you do an all in, Every you don't forget a unit. You do not, not a, forget not an immortal. <laughs> an immortal. You do not forget a Void Ray. Okay, an Archon. He proxied the Robo, you and he just, forgot. You just, this is just you just do not the forget one unit. It. He also didn't didn't. In, in my opinion here, I feel like he could have balanced his resources at home a lot better. It's better to have you know a, a simulator cost less than a Zealot. Now the three. Pro